Hey, what's up, guys? Master Smile here. Welcome to another Grand Theft Auto Online Streetcar Duplication Glitch, the revised version. Drop a like, subscribe, and uh, go ahead and hit up that GoFundMe, man. Leave me a tip. You know, help me get this channel off the ground. All right, so a lot of you already know this. This has been going around like for almost six months now. And uh, lately, it got patched. The 1.38 patched this uh, duplication glitch, but not all the way. So but the beginning part will be still the same. Uh, be sure you find a 28 or more player lobby. 25, 26 or less works sometimes. But for me, I, I say 28 is the best. So you want to find that, uh, pick up a car off the street. Uh, if you want to look for certain vehicles I say the benefactor shafter and the benefactor Schweitzer like you see here I got the Schweitzer here these vehicles are worth a lot the shafter is worth uh, 201,000 and this Schweitzer here is worth 202 but again it all depends on what kind of mods and custom stuff you have for your vehicles unlocked you gotta win races and do some stunt jumps um, if, if you want help with unlocking some of these like engine mods and stuff like that I'll leave a video link in the description it'll help you boost you know it's a boosting method for this so I know it's hard to win races and stuff so. alright so you got to the garage now you're gonna drive in and out you see back there again everything is the same up to a point um, I'll probably show you oh be sure you have a custom license plate you guys don't know how to do that uh, just go to your iFruit app on your phone and uh, just go ahead and just set one up on your vehicle order it of course you got to come to the garage to activate it by the way if you're new to my channel drop a like subscribe and uh, share this you know, get the word out man and uh, thanks for watching too man all right so you did the simian trick got inside the vehicle you drive inside the garage and now here you're just going to change the plate that's where the custom plate comes into place so just choose either one I'm just going to back out and uh, another vehicle should spawn right there there you go okay and again it's the same from here you just want to get inside this just drive it inside, drive it in and out. This is very important though. Um, you're gonna have to do this because sometimes your you know your glitch vehicle will disappear if you don't drive your spawn vehicle in and out. Alright, so once you've drove out and your vehicle's still there, just jump in your glitch vehicle. Now this part is where it's going to change. Um I'm just going to show you guys, I'm going to put on just a little bit of mods here, just to show you, just to, you know, get to show you guys how this works. So just put on whatever, just change the color or, you know, put on anything. If you don't want to spend that much money, but if you're confident, you can go ahead and trick out the whole thing. Just go ahead and max it all out. But from here, I'm just going to show you guys how to um, just to check, see if it'll still work. You know, if you won't lose your vehicle or anything like that. By the way, shout out to Dead Gaming Live for uh, giving me a tip on how to test glitch vehicles. Before I, you know, I go ahead and max it out. So this is a little tip from Dead Gaming Live here. Check out his channel. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. All right. So once you just, you know, put a little bit of mods on there, you want to break the door off now. So you're gonna drive out after you've completely modified it, or if you want to just test it, drive out and break the driver's side door off again. Now this is where it's changed. Obviously the you know breaking the driver's side door off is different. So once you do that, you're gonna find a good straightaway here. 
maybe nearby your garage and nearby the custom drive down just accelerate and you're gonna want to do the simeon trick so once you do the simeon trick once you drive down the road you start the job and you back out you'll spawn back in like this here and just stay there in one place your glitch vehicle should be down the street and your spawn vehicle should spawn there it is right there <laughs> man these NPCs are ruthless man they don't care if you're in the street or not alright so you just get in your spawn vehicle and uh, try to stay away from your glitch vehicle like I was like I'm doing here don't do this this was very risky because uh, it will glitch glitch out your ride it'll kick you out of it but uh, I got lucky enough and you know it didn't happen to me here but it will happen so please don't do this don't go near your rides once you once you spawn it just either sell or store it so now you're just gonna want to again just go ahead and fully customize your vehicle now once you're confident enough that your vehicle is gonna spawn and you're not gonna lose so just go ahead and just go ahead and max out your vehicle by the way if you're new to my channel man drop a like subscribe be sure you hit that notification button I got plenty of glitch videos uh, I also have some just regular let's play videos uh, I also do fallout videos too I build stuff and showcase them so if you guys want any fallout videos let me know there's plenty of new mods on that too that I probably will post a couple videos and uh, again, hit up that GoFundMe too, man. Leave me a tip. Help me get some new capturing software and stuff. So, All right, so once you've done that, once you've modded it all out, now you're just going to do the same thing here. Drive out and break the driver's side door off. And you're going to find a good straightaway. I was doing this here. But I had a couple of players start to follow me around. So I went across to the other custom. And it doesn't matter where you do this. This as long as you're near your garage and near Los Santos custom. So drive down straight. Get a good acceleration going. Bring up your Simeon job. I think the Simeon job works the best. And uh, just drive straight down the road. And boom, start up the job. It's just similar as driving into the uh, Los Santos Custom, but you're not going to get in your vehicle and, you know, you're not driving in the garage. It's out in the open. So your, your vehicle should be rolling down the street to your right, down there, and your glitch vehicle, there it is. Your spawn vehicle should spawn in front of you. So now you just want to get in your spawn vehicle, of course, and, uh, Again, you can either sell it or store it. In this case, uh, I I put a tracker on there. It's just because I'm far away from my garage. I normally park it in my garage, but I'm pretty far away from it. So I, I figure I just put a tracker on there. By the way, this car sells right now for 193,000 plus, guys. Normally, it's 202, but there's discounts, so... And be sure you have most of the mods. Again, it depends on what mods you have on your vehicle to get a high price. I get comments sometimes telling me how come my vehicle didn't come out to as much as yours did. Well, that's because your vehicle does not have all the mods. Plus, be sure you look at the prices. You know, put the highest price um, mods and custom stuff on your vehicle. So once you drive out and you, you put a tracker or you decided to sell it, you're just going to run all the way back. I didn't want to cut this part because I wanted to show you guys, you know, this is legit. Just run, get in there. And you're just going to do the same thing. You're just going to get in, turn around, drive back up and turn around again and just do the Simeon trick again. So get your car ready, get a good straightaway going, get a good speed going, not too fast. You don't want to have your vehicle roll all the way across the map. So just do the Simeon trick. You'll be into the lobby, back out, and 
boom once you spawn back into the lobby though just stand there just sort of wait and by the way uh when you put a tracker on your vehicle i didn't notice but uh i end up getting three vehicles the glitch vehicle the vehicle that the tracker on there and then this one here to spawn the vehicle so now this one what i did is instead of buying a tracker i just drove it i just took it back to my garage plus it was a good experiment too to see if the glitch vehicle will still stay so again drop a like subscribe if you're new to my channel man thanks for watching thanks for coming by share this video i also have a gofundme in the description below that'll help me out really good man it'll help me pay my internet bill and help me get a few more things to get all this up to par and become a great youtuber <laughs> so uh this will definitely help you make money um a little bit more steps but um i'm not sure how long this is gonna be before it gets patched so go ahead go do this if you guys need help i'm sure there's people out there my, my psn is low tech limits and again drop a like subscribe let me know what you think of this video this glitch and uh again thanks for watching Go make that money. Well over 700 subscribers on the way to 1,000. I'm Master Smiley. This is Master Smiley Gaming. See you guys next time. Later, gamer.